What's going on family? This video is sponsored by Slab City Jigs. Be sure to go check them out at slabcityjigs.com. We have come together and made a custom line of soft plastics for you guys. Go get you a couple individual packs or you can pick up this custom 903 fishing kit right here available on the website right now. Y'all be sure to stick around and see these jigs in action. Y'all stay tuned. He turned the kayak, but is that a white? No. Ooh, look at that mohawk, bro. That's a freaking mohawk, huh? <laughs> look at that fish, guys. That is a nice. Look, there's a mohawk. What's going on, YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Guess what, guys? Got a little special one for you today. I have never shot docks from a kayak, and that is exactly what we're gonna do today. I got my buddy Taylor over there. Say what's up, Taylor. Yeah, he has invited me over here and we're gonna fish this one dock. And we don't know if there's any crappie underneath there or not, but I'll tell you what, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. We got about seven to eight inches of clearance right there. And usually when you shoot these docks, guys, you gotta get that jig underneath there as far as possible. I wanted to show y'all something real quick. Runcel has sent me a kayak dry bag right here. And so far, I love it. All right, I absolutely love it. It has numerous compartments on it where you can put on both sides of the dry bag. I got some Tylenol, chapstick, all kinds of stuff in here. And then I got my thump gel and my slip corks on the other side. And there are numerous compartments on the inside. And there's also a dry pouch where you can put your phone or electronic things. I have my GoPro um, accessories in that dry bag. But guess what? I appreciate y'all for clicking on this video. If you have it, hit that thumbs up button for me. It really helps the channel, guys. If you already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. God bless you. You know I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, you love you some crappie fishing, whether it be from the boat bank or the kayak, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. Taylor, you ready to go? All right, guys, y'all stay tuned. Hey, brother. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, man. Hey, I did exactly what you just said. Oh, look at that one, bro. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, guys. Ooh. That's a nice crappie. Oh, you get, we doubling. Little guy, but we doubling. Let's go, guys. Look at that crappie right there. That's a good fish good eater let me show you my athletic skills Hell yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, yeah. hey he's in he's in the yak baby he's in the yak let's go Ooh, that was got him is it good oh yeah is that a black yeah. that is a big one look how clear that oh my god bro that's a black dude that is a stud <laughs> nice man that is a stud see man if i don't get it way under there i will not get bit all right guys so what we're doing is and this isn't something that i've done in the past really dock shooting yes since we're fishing what three to five feet of water I'm not popping that jig, guys. I'm throwing it, I'm shooting it under there, and as soon as it hits the water, I am slow reeling. So click that bell and just slow reel. That's a good one. You know, it shocks me how long the crop stay alive. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got a big one. It is a big one. Oh, it's a big one, bro. Holy smoke. <laughs> I got him. Look at that. That's a toad. That's a good fish. I, I need about, I need, I need a few more of those. 
Wow. Look at that fish, guys. We'll call the rest of them. Huh? Look at that. That's a good crappie right there. Man. How do you want this one? You just want me to keep them in my basket? Okay. All right, guys. I haven't even went over my setup yet, guys. I have the six foot two piece ACC crappie six dock shooter right here. I got it paired with the Shimano Sienna 500 reel. I got six pound string line on here. Now guys, I'm not a huge fan of the string. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm just not. Um, I like that Berkeley Solutions, but Walmart quit carrying it. So I've, I've started with the string. But on this end, you know, we got a 16th ounce jig head with Slab City jigs, all right? 16th ounce head, of course, with them Slab City. You know what? Maybe I, I, I need to stay about this close. I can get another foot, foot and a half, two feet up underneath there. Yeah. Oh, 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 bro. Oh, no, that's a good fish. Get off that little rung. That's a good one. That's a toad. That is a toad. Oh, is that a white? I don't know. Is that a white? It. No, it's a black, but oh, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. That's the biggest one I've caught today. Oh, man. Pretty fish, bro. Oh, and Slab City jigs, guys. Hey, right now I'm using all monkey milk, and I don't know if I finally started to get it further under the dock or if that color, it may be a little combination, but look at that fish. That is pretty. That's a great eater. Man, that is beautiful. Not too big, not too small. No, sir. That's a good one. Let's go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, come on. He's got me on the board. Okay, I got you. That's a good fish. We got a runner. We got a runner. And it's a good one. Look at that. That's going to be a keep, bro. I think. Oh, man. Good fish. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, man. I think that's going to be a keep. Oh, yeah. Ten and a half, brother. Let's go. See, now I know I'm getting under there, but I'm not getting bit. Change that. Change that. Change that, baby. Uh-oh. Feels like a decent one. Oh, gosh, bro. Oh, uh. Let's go. Oh, that Slab City jig falling out. Look at that fish, guys. That's a decent fish. What's that one? Ten and a half, brother. And he's thick. He got some meat on him, too. We'll take that all day. Let's go. Oh yeah, oh that's a good one. Oh, there's one. Uh oh, this, this oh bro. I gotta keep her for sure. If I can keep slack on it, keep it tight. This is a keeper. Oh yeah. Come here, fish. Oh look at that. <laughs> Oh, is, you got a keeper too? Doubling up on keepers, baby. Look at that, guys. This got to be a keeper. Whoa. Oh, that's 11. Nice. Let's go, baby. Oh, if that's not a fish, oh, yeah. 
There he is, bro. I called that one. I called that one. Oh, I think that's gonna keep. Oh, we doubling again. I just gotta get back in there. If I get back off in there on them, it's game over. Nope, nine and three quarter. <laughs> nine and three quarter, slide off in there. See you, buddy. Uh. Uh-oh. Uh, I thought he was bigger, but he's still decent. It's probably one of those nine and three quarter specials. Nine and three quarter specials. And you know what? It is. I mean, dude, he's like a 16th inch. Look. Oh, put that one back in there. See ya. Oh, there's been 10 that's been that big. See, right here, I feel like I'm too far away. Even you're about three feet up. Well, I'll be dog. Uh-oh. We got a fighter. I, I, I think it's that nine and three quarter special. There it is. Nine and three quarter special, baby. I know he ain't gonna make it. Pretty little fish. I wish they would take off slow so y'all could see him in the water. There he goes. Look at there. Also, guys, this dock is not the easiest dock to shoot. What would you say, Taylor? That's about what? Seven, eight inches of clearance? And your best option of shooting this dock, or our best option, is to be in a kayak. Um, a John boat would probably work but since there's so little clearance between the water and the dock, you want to be as level with that with the water as possible. So we figured the kayaks would be our best bet. Hey, I put on plain monkey milk. Caught two fish on three casts. You got another one? That good one? Looked like a good one. Oh, are you, is he wrapped around? No, you got him. Holy! Oh, bro. That's a toad. That is a, that's a good. <laughs> that's a good fish right there. Dang. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. He turned the kayak, but is that a white? No. Oh, look at that mohawk, bro. That's a freaking mohawk, huh? <laughs> look at that fish, guys. That is a nice. Look, there's a mohawk. Now, guys, what do y'all call these where you're from? Now, I've heard them called magnolia. I've heard them called black nose. I've heard them called. What did you say a while ago? hog nose look at that that is a nice fish right there guys beautiful black crappie under the dock that is a nice fish well hey you know you know earlier when i was using this silver and monkey milk yep. wasn't able to get it back that like i was fishing too far away yeah, I, i've caught four fish in a row I think it's with the silver and monkey milk now that, that i'm able to th get it under there uh, Catch, catch it a few. There go another one right there. Hey, this will feel like a good one, bro. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Come here. That's a keeper. Yes, sir. I believe it is. I'm gonna check it. Can, can go I don't know. We're going to find out. Ten and a half, baby. He's in there. Let's go.
Uh. There he is. There's a little guy. Look at that Slap City jig. That, that little sucker. That little sucker right there wanted that jig right there. Look. Gone. I can't even see how it went in. There it is. Beautiful little crappie. Go on back in there. Get about 12 inches bigger. Come holler at me. There he is. Uh-oh, bro. God, he's on the wood. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Got to be a good one. Look at that. Another decent fish, bro. They're just kind of running off with it. I mean, I'll feel one thump it every now and then, but that's a 10 and a half. That's another good one. That basket, guys, is filling up. Basket is filling up. I got that one back there. Way back there? Huh? So you got it way back there? Yeah. Oh my gosh. My line went slack. If that's not a good one, then I don't know what it is. That's two keeps in a row. I think that's a keeper. What'd you say? Yeah. <laughs> yes sir yeah that's 10 10 and a quarter 10 and a quarter baby we're leaving the dock check out this basket look at this basket guys i got a few in there i don't even know how many taylor has in that bucket over there but guess what stick around we're gonna go back to the boat ramp we're gonna lay these fish out we're gonna let you see them y'all stay tuned Whew. what's going on family guess what we back at the boat ramp and I don't think Taylor and I really realize how many crappie we have. Check it out guys. That right there, 27 keeper crappie. And some of these are some nice fish guys. I mean, that is a beautiful black crappie. Golden colors right here. This, this lake that we're fishing is clear water, clearer water I should say. Look at that fish right there. That is a good crappie right there. So is that one right there. That's a good fish. I mean, you really can't beat that. Two people, 27 keepers. It was a great day out here. If y'all like this type of content from the kayak, I had never shot docks before, so I wanted to go ahead and try it out from the kayak. If you like this type of content, be sure to leave me a comment in the comment section. And guys, don't forget about the Runcel dry bag. I believe this is the 30L, 30 liter, I believe. I have a code for this bag, guys. 50% off code. It's going to be in the description of this video. Be sure to go check out Runcel.com. You can also use code 903FISHM for 15% off the entire website. I want to take a second to thank all the channel members out there. Thank you so much, guys. If you're interested in becoming a channel member, all you got to do is hit that blue little join button beside that subscribe button. A list of tiers will come down and you pick the tier that you would like to. Anything helps the channel, goes directly back into the channel to produce more content for you guys. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. God bless you. You know, I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, you love you some crappie fishing. This is the channel for you. Go ahead and hit it. We would love to have you. All right, well, Taylor. Yes, hey man, I appreciate you taking me out, brother. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have to get back out here on this dock. If you would like to see that, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.